Okay, that's weird. And he calls me back again for a third time. Y'all want to know what the fuck was wrong? Take a while, guess. I'm going to give you five seconds to guess. Michelle. Because why is there so much pulling? It's creeping me out. If that isn't some New York City shit, I don't know what the fuck is. What's up? Welcome back. Okay, so this week has been dramatic to say the very least. When I tell you so much stuff has happened to me, I have a lot of tea to spill. But I've learned my lesson about speaking on things too early and honestly I'm currently still going through the situation so hopefully next week everything will be over with and I can talk to you guys about it because wow I need to fucking vent <laughs> like it's crazy but right now I've been so stressed out like I'm literally going through so much I'm giving myself a mental health break um for those of you who don't know first of all what's up welcome to my channel if you're new here what's up if you're not new welcome back um you fuck with your girl please subscribe because we are growing every day and yeah so back to what i was saying so yeah um if you don't know i suffer with mental health issues um it is what it is i have severe anxiety like crippling anxiety sometimes and i have pretty bad depression um also have panic disorder and insomnia and yes, I've been diagnosed with all of these things by an actual doctor. Yes, I go to therapy every week. But besides the point. So I know to give myself fucking mental health breaks. And I know when I'm about to break down. And if I don't, I'm going to break the fuck down. It is the night before Thanksgiving. You know what I wanted to do tonight? I wanted to go to the motherfucking strip club. I wanted to make some money. I wanted to shake this ass for some cash. But if I have an attitude, if I'm upset, if I'm going through shit no one's gonna tip me i'm not gonna make any money with a stank face with an attitude in, in the corner so let me do myself this service and then tomorrow's still thanksgiving granted i can't work as late as i want to but i could still work tomorrow and i should still be able to make some decent money so all that being said i just ordered a seafood boil because i deserve it bitch <laughs> i just got a seafood boil I'm supposed to be rushing to leave. That's why I took my fucking... Um, let me smoke and talk. Mm. I'm supposed to be rushing to leave to go pick up my boil. I just ordered it right before I picked up the camera. It's like 10, 15 minutes away. I'm about to go pick that up. And I'm also going to go to the liquor store and get a little personal bottle of honey jack because like i said i deserve and i'm gonna come back and i'm going to get lit with you guys and i'm gonna tell you guys a story time about what happened to me yesterday is pretty gross honestly i don't advise you eat while i tell this story but if you want a good laugh sis stay tuned so let's go to the, let's go get the boil first before I go to get my boil, I wanted to show you guys, look at my little baby. She finally growing. She's still gonna be little, but like, she growing. She cute or whatever. Okay, I know the lighting is horrible in my car and it's probably really hard to see me, but I'm on my way to pick up the boil now. Honestly, I tried something new because I'm trying to be more adventurous with my food because like I keep saying, I was a vegetarian for five years. I'm just getting back into meat, kind of. I'm about to try mussels. I have not eaten mussels literally since I was probably like 10 years old. I just haven't had them in a long ass time. And then on top of that, yeah, I wasn't eating meat. So I'm a little freaked out by them just because they're still in the shell. But I feel like if I could eat crab legs, I could do this. Like, I can do this. So I'm gonna try. We are gonna see how it goes. But I'm praying it goes well, and if I can't, like, pick it and eat it, I'm gonna use a fork. I don't know. We're gonna fucking try, because I want to be able to eat more stuff, and I want to try more things. I am very fucking picky, but we're trying to get out of that. So, I'm, like, down the street from it, and there's, like, it's just fucking Brooklyn, honestly. Let me hurry up and get there. Okay, so I'm out the shower. I'm clean. Um, I have a load of laundry going. And I have my William. And they gave me a 
like great though but like okay and then i had to get had to get a bottle of moscato because they ain't have any rosé and honestly they had a whole bunch of wine that i didn't really want and barefoot is safe so when in doubt barefoot moscato so yeah only thing i really want to do is of course you guys already know i want to smoke first so I'm about to roll up and then we're getting right into this story so let's go pray to god that actually stays if not i'll fix it but yeah let me show you guys this <laughs> yes baby we got all the goods and i'm doing this on my bed because it feels one it feels a lot better it feels more comfortable it feels real chill and two i feel like the angle so this is the best angle i can do for now i 100 percent need to take this wig off because it's driving me crazy at this point but ignore it so let's start the video off right I know people say cheers when they smoke i don't know if that's just like a people in the uk thing or if that's like worldwide but like cheers i guess <laughs> if anybody else smokes spliffs let me know because i genuinely don't know anybody else that smokes spliffs besides mainly people from new york and if you're out of state you probably smoke spliffs because you came from new york but i genuinely don't know any other state that smokes bliss You guys are probably like, what the fuck is this story? Like, honestly, I just wanted to talk to you guys real shit. Excuse me. When it comes to wine, always drink out the bottle. Who needs a glass? Let's get started. Okay, so let me tell you guys about my fucking day yesterday. First of all, it started the night before last, so it started on Monday. Yeah, started on Monday. So if you're not from New York or Brooklyn specifically, most of the boroughs, but I live in Brooklyn, so we don't talk about Brooklyn. You have to move your car because there's street parking. So you have to move your car off the street in order to get parking. I'm sorry, can you guys make But yeah, so I get up to move my car because Tuesday I'm going to get a ticket if I don't move my car. So I get up to move my car. And it's uh, it's like 4.45, 4.50. It's really it's like early afternoon. Throw the garbage in here. It's like early afternoon. And I go move my car. I have to go to the grocery store because Sasuke, my cat, needed some more dry food because he didn't have any more. And I get him like two specific brands. Mm -hmm, I'm dipping in the sauce now. Oh, playing. Wow. Mm. But yeah, anyways, <laughs> I got so distracted. Oh, I got mild this time. I got a little kick in it. I mean, I got medium. I don't really get mild because I don't like spicy food, but this is good. But yeah, anyways, I got, um, I went to the grocery store to go get his food. So they didn't have his food he wanted. So I went in my car, parked the car in front of the grocery store. I'm in and out in less than 10 minutes because they don't have what he wants. So, well, they don't have what I want him to have. So, I just quickly get some little things, like some fruit. In and out in 10 minutes. Get back in my car. Try to turn my car on. That should not start him. Okay. That's weird. 
I literally, I literally just drove two blocks up the street on my car not starting. Broccoli is my favorite vegetable. If y'all don't like broccoli, I'm judging. I hate when people tell me they don't like broccoli. It's like, why don't you eat vegetables? That's just weird. I'm judging. Mm. It's soft all the way through, too. Anyways, I get my car, my car not starting. Okay, try to start it again. Not starting. Try to start it again. Not starting. Try to start it again. Not starting. Cool, whatever. Don't want to fucking start. I mean, not cool. I was pissed. So, I'm sorry if this bag isn't like the way, if this angle is distracting. But, like, until I move, it's going to be a little weird. But yeah, so I'm trying to start my car. It's not starting. I'm getting annoyed. I tried to push my car myself. I moved it a solid foot, literally 12 inches maximum by myself. So, you know. <laughs> but yeah, so then um, like where I live, a couple blocks over is like a Jewish neighborhood. So like I live in a regular neighborhood and then you literally walk two blocks down the street and it's a completely Jewish neighborhood. So grocery store i went and buy was by this jewish school sasuke no my cat is just like tr look at him trying to get him. you can't even see him he's right above the camera trying to get in my food no he refuses to move he just wants to sit there and be involved that's fine sit there but don't touch my food since it's like five o'clock at this point there's mad school buses pulling up so i asked the bus driver who pulled up right next to my car i'm like can you please help me push my car like back just so it would be parked in a spot so my car don't get towed because I pulled up in front of the grocery store in front of a fucking fire hydrant because I'm thinking I'm gonna be in and out the fuck anyways so he helps me push it I'm like so grateful some other random man on the street came along and just seen him helping me push and he pushed it so I got in the car and they pushed it cool get out the car go walk home upset because what the fuck's going on with my car and I have a million other things going on in my life i was already stressed i was already depressed and then this one happened whatever i go inside i try you know think about my options what can i do about the situation i'm thinking it's the starter i'm talking to the mechanic he thinks it's the starter so i go to sleep i get up in the next morning and i go to first of all i had to set up roadside assistance I didn't have it with my insurance. So since I didn't have it yet, and I set it up the night before, it didn't kick into effect yet. So I had to come out of pocket $115 for the pill. Annoying. Okay. They told me it can be reimbursed, but like, when is that going to be reimbursed? Probably a month from now. So I had to pay for the tow. Whatever. My mechanic and me, we both think it's the starter. So I go to AutoZone. I pick up a new starter. $200. Okay. So we're at about $315 right now. Keep up. Keep up. We'll say $300. Just, you know. You know. Hmm. So... It's really hard to tell a story and eat crab legs. Like, like, I don't know if I thought this through, but like, it's fine. So anyways, um, I go to AutoZone, I get a new starter. I pay the tow truck. I have them tow it to the mechanic. Mechanic gets my car. Everything seems okay so far. I don't know what this black spot is on the shrimp, but it's making me not want to eat it yeah like oh it was just on the shell it's not in the actual shrimp cool okay so yeah um i send the the car to the mechanic um he gets the car he's like hey chantal i just got your car i'm checking it now he's like okay so i'm looking at it and honestly um i don't think it's your starter i think it's your alternator he's like so i want you to exchange the starter for an alternator mind you the starter is in the car with him 
because he told me it was a starter. So I put it in the car before the tow truck came so that the part would be with the car. Okay, um, so now I'm gonna have to come out of pocket another $223. So the total of the day right now would be 500, we'll round it, 525. Okay. Mm. Oh, fine. I want to try a muscle, but I'm scared. Mm. I don't know why this just feels so much better after I take a shower. Like the food is hitting more. Mm. Yeah, wine's starting to set in too. Okay. The muscles are literally huge and low key creeping me out. But I feel like if I have a fork, I'll be able to eat it. Got me a fork. Okay. I got a fork and this is why I put a towel on my bed because I knew I was about to get messy. And when I eat boils, I don't like to use the gloves. I just feel like they get in the way. I hope you guys don't hate me for like the lighting and angle in this video because this is a super chill video and this is a stress-free video. We're not worrying about that right now. It's freaking me out a little bit, but this is the muscle. I don't think I can watch myself take it out the shell. Because why is there so much pulling? It's creeping me out. Oh my god, it's creeping me out. <clears throat> so we're not going to try that right now. I like was ripping it open and I seen a little black thing inside and it freaked me out. So I'm going to try one more. Because this one doesn't look like it has that in the inside. But I won't know because I'm not looking. So I'm just not going to look. Not going to look. Okay, we're not looking. We're not looking. Ugh, I can't get it out. Okay, so it looks like they all have a little black thing inside, which is creepy as fuck. So I feel like I wasted my money on the mussels because I'm too scared to eat them. And this is what happens when um you don't eat meat for five years. It's fine though, I tried. I did try. I commend myself for trying. And maybe, you know, later tonight or tomorrow, I will muster up the strength to eat a muscle. But as of right now, can't do it. So we're just going to focus on everything else that we can eat. Because that's what we're doing right now. Focus on shit we can control. Uh, Excuse me. That's gay. Wait, but he really think everything is a game. Stop. Stop. Anyways, um, so I sent my fucking car to the mechanic and he's telling me, oh, I think it's actually the alternator. So you have the pieces and everything, but you want me to exchange it. So really I have to come out of pocket and go return it later. So for the day, the total would have been up to 525. Then he calls me. It says, oh, actually, you need a new battery. Okay, I thought my battery was fine, but okay. Got a new battery. I'm like, I can't come right now. I'm working, but I'll come after I get off. He's like, um, I'll go pick you up a new battery. And you just get the stuff when you get off of work. I'll have everything done when you come. I'm like, okay. Then he calls me back again for a third time. I'm looking up the alternator, getting ready to buy another fucking object. Then he tells me, oh, actually, your alternator is perfectly fine. And your starter is perfectly fine. Um, The real issue? Y'all know... Excuse me. <clears throat> Y'all want to know what the fuck was wrong with my car? Y'all want to know? Take a wild guess. I'm going to give you I'm gonna give you five seconds to guess. Mm. 
You can guess it? No. I'm going to tell you what the fuck happened on my car. My starter is fine. My alternator is fine. I do need a new battery. But y'all want to know the reason I need a new fucking battery? Broccoli, yo. I need a new fucking battery. Because rats New York City dirty ass Brooklyn rats crawled up into my engine and bit the wiring of my engine disconnected the electricity that runs from the battery to the alternator to the starter oh I forgot to say when the mechanic came to pick up my car he jumped my car the car started the car started so nothing was wrong with the car. The issue was there wasn't not enough electricity that could run through from the battery to everything because rats chewed the wiring that connects the electricity to the important parts of my car. If that isn't some New York City shit, I don't know what the fuck is. Dead ass. So, out of every crab spot, Juicy King Crab is definitely my fave. And honestly, if you're from Brooklyn, Juicy King Crab on Pitkin is the number one. This is the best one. I didn't get that one because I didn't feel like driving 30 minutes away, but... This one I got is good too. But the one on pick him? I swear to God, their jumbo shrimp be jumbo. The crab be cooked excellently. Like, the food at that location just be, mm. And they got better boil deals. Like, I was going to get lobster. If I would have went there, I could have got crab, lobster, and shrimp for $45. And potatoes and corn. It's fine though. Mm. this spot though they have the best corn not this location but juicy king crab period they have the best corn in their boils as soon as i said that this corn does not hit the same as the other corn but typically they have the best corn in their boils So yeah, what happened with my car? That happened. And the mechanic said he's just gonna put in all new wiring. He's gonna fix everything. He said, so my total, my total was going to be with the battery and the labor and new wires, $350. Cute. Mind you, I had a $100 bill come out of my account that day from Klarna. So, in total, I spent almost 600 that day, probably about 600 because I did go back to AutoZone at the end of the day and return the starter that I never fucking needed. Got my $200 back. But in total, still, I spent almost $600. So, since we're rounding 600 Because of New York City fucking rats. Make it make sense. Right. But whatever. Anyways. I'm about to go bust down the rest of this fucking boil. Um. I do. Have a few ideas coming up though. So I've decided we are doing Vlogmas this year. I didn't decide if I want to do Vlogsmith as posting like two videos a week, like every three to four days, just post how much has been in that, or if we're going to try daily posts. I was thinking weekly posts, but honestly, that's just a lot as far as even editing and waiting an entire week to post. It's just a lot. 
So I think we're going to either do twice a week or every day. If we can do every day, that'd be amazing. But if we do do it every day, I want you guys to be real realistic. Like, it would be my everyday life. So not every single vlog would be like, oh my god, we're going to the strip club. Or we're getting new outfits. Even though I did just plan out a lot of my videos. So there are going to be a lot of stripper vlogs coming up in December. And there are going to be a few hauls coming up. A few lookbooks. Um, just a few little cute things coming up in December for Vlogsmas. But um, I'm getting lit like the, the wine is getting to me like it's because I fucking smoked and drank back to back like literally within like two seconds of each other but anyways oh yeah mine is, besides the fact that I'm a lightweight and it only takes like one to two glasses of wine to really get me there so yeah I do have a few things planned for vlogsmas so that should be really fun. And then the other thing, um, I do want to do a Q&A soon because there's a lot going on with me. And I feel like one I want to share just because that's my personality. Sasuke, look at my cat. He's knocking the camera over. Again, the camera angle in this whole video is going to be horrible and I'm sorry. But this is a real life video. And in real life, sometimes things aren't perfectly planned and nice. Like, if I could show you guys my cat right now, he's sleeping ever so peacefully, and he just thought it would be nice to knock my camera over in the pastas. Whatever. But, um... Me being lit is making it hard to stay focused and film a good video. I will say that. I want to do vlogmas. I want to do a QA and a soon. Um... I would like you guys to get to know me better on a more personal level um, because that's just who I am. I'm a very vulnerable person. I'm a very open book, but also I do not overshare. There's like, I don't know. I feel like a lot of people can learn from the shit that I've been through, especially because I feel like I didn't have somebody to teach me a lot of lessons. So I feel like I can teach a lot of people a lot of lessons just for the simple fact that my mother passed away when I was very young and both of my sisters were pretty much grown and moved out the house by the time I was a child so I really didn't have a lot of people like to teach me these things so I hope that other people will learn from some of my mistakes but yeah I'm lit I'm chatting this video about to be long as fucking hard to edit so <laughs> thank you for watching next video is going to be a scripper vlog it's not a scripper vlog story time I'm not sure what order i'm gonna do it in but i'm pretty sure next video is gonna be stripper vlog so thank you for watching please like comment and subscribe and if you watched all the way to the end of the video you a real fucking nigga you a real nigga i swear for god you so a real nigga <laughs> And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.